happy birthday to that and here you have your three billion dollar gift well it's not three billion dollars it's 2.9 billion dollar it's close but i rounded it up because you know what it looks better so what is this uh, three billion dollar thing we are talking about if you're not aware red hat announced their financial results for uh, 2017 and the fourth quarter of 2017 and they registered a revenue of three now nah, okay 2.8 billion dollars that's amazing to be honest i'm kind of disappointed that it did not touch the three billion dollar mark but it's almost there right and i'm pretty sure that by next year it would be something around 3.2 or billion dollars at least or 3.5 billion dollar and, and, and the thing is not i'm like i'm not making a huge kind of you know prophecy of prediction it's obvious so when i saw the results i was not surprised at all because it's not surprising it was kind of expected because red hat has been growing at an organic rate the uh, the, the company and uh, don't forget that this year company is also celebrating its 25th anniversary uh, linux turbulence announced linux in uh, 1991 suze was announced in 1992 and red hat was announced in 1993 so they are celebrating their 25th anniversary this year and what is really interesting that is in 25 years they have evolved from being a linux vendor to a cloud company as you all know that okay suze might contest it but red hat kind of championed the the whole you know business model around open source this subscription based model uh, and today even today uh, linux remains their core product which is not surprising because if you look around linux also remains the core technology that powers the modern it infrastructure i mean today's economy literally runs on linux uh, uh, even microsoft i mean Azure has more than 50% uh, system machines that run Linux in, in the virtual machines they are running Linux and uh, Azure's own networking switch is powered by Linux now Microsoft is running Linux in their own infrastructure they are powering their infrastructure with Linux so everything is running on Linux it's no surprise that a huge chunk of this revenue comes from subscriptions which is rel mostly so red hat registered almost 2.6 billion dollar from subscriptions that was roughly you can say in the ballpark of 14 percent year on year growth as compared to last year and the revenues from uh, the emerging technologies was something around 628 million dollars not billion dollars million dollars but this is what is interesting this category registered almost 42 percent year-on-year growth so emerging technologies is the area where red hat is experiencing exponential growth while the traditional linux model is growing at a at a very organic you know rate the emerging markets is massive it's almost 50 percent increase so so what is really interesting to see here is that red hat is investing a lot of resources in these technologies and if you look around they kind of dominate the market kind of if you look at openshift that's huge and massive and they just uh, acquired ansible and they acquired chorus one of my favorite uh, companies in the in the container world and chorus is a very influential player in the kubernetes space so i'm pretty sure that we are going to see much more aggression from Red Hat in the cloud space in, in 2019 or going forward. Um, IoT is a space that they work on uh, machine learning. Uh, they, they don't offer these technologies, but I'm pretty sure that they will be investing resources and investing in technologies that enable players to, to use Red Hat as a platform for those technologies. Uh, these revenues and this growth is kind of okay it's good from red hat's perspective but uh, it's also good from community's perspective what what makes red hat really so successful is not that uh, they are good at marketing uh, i have talked to a lot of my friends in the in the tech space and in the journalism world, and almost everybody agrees as long as you're not a red hat customer 
that they have one of the best you know sales and marketing team throughout the globe um, but their strength doesn't come just from sales I mean they are also very good at engineering uh, if you look at most of the technology stack you know or, or open source uh, technologies uh, wherever Red Hat is consuming those products or projects they are among the top contributors including the Linux kernel in addition to that um, they, their policy is upstream first if the code is not in upstream it will not go in Red Hat products um, and, and, and the last but not the least is that they, they value the community a lot I mean if you look at the whole GNOME community I mean it's pretty much you know backed by Red Hat developers and, and they have kind of you know a focus on technologies and and a lot of new technologies have come out of Red Hat whether it's System D or Pulse Audio you know Leonard Puttering he works on it and he's a Red Hat developer so a lot of great things are happening there Kubernetes Red Hat is one of the you know leading contributor OpenStack so so they are like kind of it's a great mix of uh, technology it's a great mix of how to commercialize Linux and open source and it's a great mix of how to work with community and and value it it's really incredible so there are no surprises that Red Hat is uh, kind of you know so successful because you know when you take all of this you know uh, good marketing uh, good good technology and you know good relationship with the community you get a company which is like well-rounded like Red Hat I mean uh, it's kind of designed to grow and succeed because uh, the kind of the way they operate and it's incredible so I won't actually be surprised that in two to three years you know Red Hat will cross like five billion dollar mark I mean yeah it sounds big today but I think that's going to happen but uh, that we will see in future for today the most exciting thing is that first Red Hat is completing their you know celebrating their 25th anniversary and second is that they have touched the 3 billion mark so it's time to celebrate for the Linux community and this story was also beta for the new project that I'm working on which is uh, daily tech news in open source world I may try to just give one big story of the day or I'll put two or three stories together I'll, I'll see maybe I'll give a weekly update I don't know how frequently you want to be updated but it will be a mix of news and analysis of what is happening with the big stuff that is happening in the Linux and open source world mostly in the enterprise segment so that was the beta just let me know what you think about it and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel the link is down below we are also on SoundCloud so you can also go and subscribe on SoundCloud if you have any doubt, just go to tfire.io slash tv and there you'll find all the subscription links. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.